Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a report showing aging analysis in Power BI. With this report, you can see an auto updated information about all invoices at any point of time. This report is showing all outstanding invoices as a bar chart with value and also outstanding by age group, total outstanding invoices and invoices outstanding more than 120 to 360 days and so on. This information is dynamic and gets updated on a daily basis and you just need to provide the input. Now let me explain how to create it. For this report, I'm using an Excel database. This is effect data, which is containing customer, invoice number, and invoice date, invoice value, and location. And this table I'm using to create the report. Now I need to jump into Power BI Desktop, and from there, I need to get into Power Query Editor. So transform data, Power Query Editor. New source, and source is Excel, and file name is Debtors. And I need to select one table called Datas, where the entire data is there. If you look at this data, it has got customer name, invoice number, invoice date, invoice value and location. The most important information, nothing but age is missing. So what is the age of each invoice? So let us add a new column in report view. So close and apply. The required table now added to the report view. To add a new column, I need to see the data. For that, I need to go to data sheet view. There, to add a new column, I need to go to column tools and new column. The column name is age equal today minus invoice date. So I got a column with age, but the format is not right. For that, I need to change the data type from date to whole number. Earlier, I mentioned that this is a dynamic report. Why? Because since I have used a function today, and obviously this is a dynamic formula every day, the definition of today changes and accordingly the age changes. Now I need to create some important measures so that I can build the report. So the first measure is I would like to know number of invoices and second measure is I would like to know how many invoices are between 120 to 360 days. So before creating measures, I need to create a container or a measure table for that enter data. Name of the table basic measures and my first measure will be created within the basic measures table. new measure i would like to know the total number of invoices and all invoices are unique for that total invoices equal count of invoice number so first measure is created and then i need to just hide the column one and if i collapse and expand this field option here I can see that measure table is now turned into a proper measure table and icon is also very identical. The next measure what I'm going to create is total number of invoices outstanding between 120 days to 360 days. For that new measure and the measure name is invoices 120 to 360 days equal calculate total invoices comma filter all invoices age where age is greater than or equal to 120 days and age is less than or equal to 360 days the next measure will decide what is the age group of each invoice and accordingly I can create the groups for that I require one helper table where I have the grouping information for that enter data the table name is 
groups column 1 is age maybe age group and then minimum and maximum so this is 0 to 30 30 to 60 60 to 120 120 to 360 360 and above so here 0 to 30 30 to 60 60 to 120 120 to 360 and 360 to I have taken the maximum of 2000 days and I need to load this now there is an additional table helper table is created below the rest of the tables the next measure is going to be a very important measure which will decide which invoice has to fall under which age group whether to fall under 0 to 30 or 30 to 60 or more than 360 days let us understand the DAX function what we are going to write in terms of the data in the data table, I have created one column called age and this is against each invoice so I need to ask Power BI to look at each invoice distinct age and then aggregate the invoice value and keep that invoice value in the groups what we have created a minimum and maximum group whether it has to fall between 0 to 30 or 30 to 60 and so on now the measure goes like this new measure and the measure name is outstanding because I need the outstanding but this outstanding is by age group that is what I need to derive so I need to evaluate or filter the sum of invoice value because we have not created any special measure for it earlier and then filter each age the what we have created in the data table and then aggregate the value of invoice by counting rows and then filter the groups table which we have created for mini with minimum and maximum and find out this rather you place this particular invoice value into that age group where the age is greater than or equal to the minimum of that grouping and age is less than maximum so while creating a DAX measure we should be very careful while closing the brackets and it's easy to close you can see until and unless you get this kind of sign you should be adding the closure brackets so that way we have created the measure with this step the data modeling is completed and now we need to build the report so very first visual I would like to add is the slicer and in the slicer I would like to add the customer because I would like to see this entire information by customer so let me increase the text size that is items text size and next is a donut chart that donut chart will show me by age group what is the total outstanding and also it will act as a slicer so let me add a donor chart maybe this donor chart will take the place of this location and in the legend adding the age group and the value will be outstanding now you can see the values are coming like this let me increase the detail levels size maybe the units thousands yeah the next visual I would like to add is the stack bar chart so unselect the charts and select the stack bar chart keep the chart next to the slicer the customer slicer and in this 
it is by invoice number so that means in the access invoice number and the legend will be groups and value will be outstanding so age group in the legend and now the bar chart is showing different colors and each color is for different group now let me select the donut chart and format and edit interactions i'd like to filter this uh, stack bar chart so that whenever i select any specific slicer accordingly the invoices only to pertaining to that slicer for that selecting filter option so i don't require edit interaction option again switch on so i'm just switching off now if i select the group 30 to 60 this is a very small group as of now and if i select it i'll get only those invoices pertaining to that group so now at an overall level that means at a global level for all the customers and for all the locations these are the invoices which are latest invoices very less if i select it i'll come back to normal so now i have created few more measures one is total outstanding total invoice outstanding and invoices between 120 to 360 here the logic is why i have selected only 120 to 360 120 to 360 is the range where as an accountant i need to take care of if any invoice beyond 360 then i am going to in intimate that to the management to take a call whether to issue a legal notice to the customer or to stop the business with the customer etc so above 360 is not my purview so that is the management purview which will be shown here as a separate item but it is my purview because i need to take immediate action so i have to create a slicer sorry a kpi for that for that i'm just selecting a card one card will show total invoices so how many invoices i have as of now outstanding there are 523 invoices and there is another card in that card i'm adding invoices 120 to 360 so there are total 123 invoices which are in danger level two more visuals i would like to create one is a table showing outstanding by age group another is a map showing outstanding by city so let me add a table first so in the table i need to add age group and then outstanding and let me increase the text size so for that formatting option go to grid and increase the text size if you look at the age group it is not sorted properly it is sorted in a different manner 0 to 30 120 to 360 because it is a text so how to manage this what i did so let me go to transform and uh, transform data so initially the table was created only with the group table created with only age group minimum and maximum later i've added one index column how to add that i just selected source double click on it so that i can retrieve the create table option where i've added index column as 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then i change the data type to a number so index number it's a whole number now and then close and apply now this table will contain another column called index so i need to sort this age group by number for that i have unselected all the visuals first and then selected the age group go to the column tools and selected sort by column and index now the age group will be sorted properly you can see it is 0 to 30 30 to 60 and so on the final visual which i would like to add is a map in the map adding a location and then adding the outstanding to the size so that way map is also been added now the time to align the report properly let me do it by pausing the video after aligning all the visual tools properly this is the final report now i can slice and dice this report for example if i wanted to see what is the status of customer a if i select customer a customer a has got 21 invoices whereas four invoices are between 120 to 360 where i need to take immediate action and if i want to see which are all those 360 and above invoices if i click on that exactly i can see those invoices and these invoices on which i need to take a special attention and which are the invoices between 60 to 120 these are the invoices 
and which are those immediate action required are 120 to 360 are these. So that way I can slice and dice this entire report and understand what is the current status. And it is dynamic. Every day the age will change based on the today formula there we have used in the age column. After finishing the report, I can quickly change the theme by selecting anyone. I like innovate. And this is what is looking like. And I hope you liked this video and understood the concept discussed in this video. If you have any questions, please mention them in the comment section. And if you like it, please share with many. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel since I am uploading many videos and as and when I upload a new video. To get a notification, you need to subscribe. Thank you very much.